For me, I think one of the biggest things is just being in the Oxford community and just being able to learn, um, learn directly from the people who, who have really, really helped shape, shape this practice has been, has been just incredible. For me, the highlight of BCM was um, to discover, as, a pre as someone who was previously a non-academic, to discover frameworks that help us to include different knowledge systems, in this case, knowledge systems of indigenous peoples, um, in academic literature. Uh, the professors are definitely another highlight. They are leading scientists in their field, so every lecture is absolutely fascinating. Uh, they are very supportive and approachable as well. One of my favourite things about the BCM course has been getting to hang out and learn from all sorts of people from all over the world and all sorts of different academic backgrounds. We had people that have been working in conservation for many years before. We had um, food scientists, we had uh, people that really love big animals, um, people that really love plants, like me. Um, and I think that that mix really enriched um, the experience for me. For me, the highlight of BCM was becoming part of a community where it felt as natural to have a discussion about macroeconomics as about tropical forest ecosystem science. My BCM highlight was the Biodiversity Technologies course because uh, throughout the course we had different experts, renowned experts, come in and talk to us about different technologies and the cutting edge of conservation. Um, in one of these classes we had an expert on agent-based modeling come in and teach us all about that and whereas before this course I didn't know anything about that, now I'm doing my dissertation on it. We get familiar with all kinds of new exciting conservation technologies. Examples include um, the use of big data, um, the use of conservation drones, new methods to explore a deep ocean, uh, new sensing technologies. Although you're also really encouraged to think about the question, how as a conservation community can we embrace these new te technologies? such that we can advance the practice in science and conservation. Really talking a lot about really interesting social theories, like um, especially stuff to do with Foucault, um, and just a lot of really critical, interesting, reflexive stuff. And I think that a lot of people were sort of at first kind of unsure about what all this stuff was all about, but when you actually started really engaging with it, I thought, wow, this really is really interesting stuff and really opened my eyes to a lot of different ways to look at conservation problems. So my BCM highlights has been all the different field trips that we've done. Uh, we went to WWF, we went to a joint project with uh, BirdLife International and Semix, which is a mining company, to basically see how conservation works on the ground. Uh, the, the trip to Tenerife was very, very meaningful and I found it very, very valuable. The conservation problems that exist on, on that island are incredibly diverse and uh, the um, the course there really does a good job at kind of showing how, how diverse the situation is and how each individual aspect can be tackled in different ways. The number of field trips and the workshops just makes the course the best possible one for conservation.